Hi, this is Dr. Rami Tayani from the Tayani Institute, ophthalmologist and oculoplastic surgeon, and my colleague, Dr. Stephanie Mulek, who is one of our optometrists and actually happens to be my personal op optometrist as well. Um, Dr. Mulek, what are we going to talk about today? We're going to talk about astigmatism today and different ways to correct astigmatism. So everyone always asks me, you know, what is astigmatism? Or they come in and they go, I've got astigmatism, is this, this is really bad <laughs> disease. Can you tell our audience what uh, astigmatism actually is? Sure, just to make it easy. Astigmatism is just the shape of your eye. So if you don't have astigmatism, your eye would be more spherical like a ball. But people who have astigmatism, the eye is just a little bit more oblong or football shaped. Um, that means the correction we have to use in glasses or contacts is different than someone who has a spherical shaped eye. But the astigmatism can also be corrected um, surgically, and Dr. Tayani is going to go over some of those yes. options. So yeah, uh, as Dr. Mulek said, we have options of correcting astigmatism through glasses, contacts, or surgically, we have two options, either with a blade or with a laser. If we're using a blade, we can do that anytime. Before any surgery on the eye, during the time we're doing cataract surgery or a lens uh, extraction, a clear lens extraction. Uh, some of these terms you can learn more about in our other videos as well, by the way. Or if uh, we want to do it after the fact. Sometimes we see astigmatism that is not corrected or picked up after some kind of intraocular surgery, which we want to do and correct after the fact. So the blade can be used at any time. There is now laser options, right? The femtosecond laser we yes. can use or LASIK surgery that we can do at the time of cataract surgery or clear lens extraction by using the femtosecond laser, we can actually put incisions to relax. Remember, as Dr. Mulek said, if the cornea is oblong like a football, if we put incisions on the outer um, edges of the cornea, we can relax the cornea and alleviate the astigmatism. So it's a great option. Um, with astigmatism, how do patients, what is their symptoms? How do they see or how do they know they have astigmatism? Sometimes patients will get um, more of a ghosting of an image. That's usually the main symptom I've, I've heard from my patients. Is yeah, distorted vision. Distortions in their vision. Yeah, so if you come in and you're diagnosed with astigmatism, one option is, uh, again, just a quick summary, either glasses can fix it, contact lenses, or a surgical procedure called an LRI, limbal relaxing incision, or with the use of the laser, the femtosecond at the time of cataract surgery or clear lens extraction. Just uh, to quickly go over the post-operative care or the before care of a, a astigmatism correction, if we're doing it, whether it's by the blade or by the laser, uh, in preparation to it, we just want you to use antibiotic drops for two days before, and then the day of surgery, you take it easy and start drops for the antibiotic drops again uh, for about a week, four times a day, antibiotic drops, and that's it. Is there anything else? There's no patching, there's no shielding or anything of that nature. Um, pretty and, easy. And can you say how long it takes to correct that with the laser? Oh, seconds. The laser correction of a astigmatism, that's a great question, it takes about 20 seconds to do. And even with a blade, maybe a minute or two to do. There are some very, very detailed calculations that are done prior to surgery. But once we have all of our settings set, whether it's using the knife or the laser, it is a very quick procedure and painless. There's no pain. Does that cover it? That covers it. All right. Once again, this is Dr. Ramin Tayani and Dr. Stephanie Mulek from the Tayani Institute. Till next time, have a great day.